Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up the Wizarding Trunks Professor's Box. Now this is their bi-monthly box, the Owlry Box. Their High Security Vault Box is their quarterly box or special edition quarterly box. So if you see the Owlry on there, you know it is the bi-monthly box. So this will feature professors that we know and love. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna be professors we know and love. Maybe it'll be a mixture of love and hated professors. So I'm excited to see what's inside. Let's take a look at the box. Here we have the front. There's a black cat on there. On this side it says a fragile magical delivery or fragical delivery. And then on the back, a wolf's bane potion sticker. Now before we open up this box, I'm excited to let you guys know that the second Keep Collecting box, Staying at School for the Holidays, has been restocked. A lot of you were sad that you missed out on that one and have been asking about a potential restock. It's not really been restocked. What the Wizarding Trunk does is they put aside a certain amount of boxes. So if something happens while a box is being shipped or in transit, they have an extra to send out if it gets lost or something. So now that all the boxes have been delivered, those set aside boxes are now available to purchase. We have a very, very limited amount of them. So if you would like to get your hands on one of the Keep Collecting boxes that was released in November, check the description down below. Let's open up this box. <gasps> We've got a shirt. We have a t-shirt. This is, I like the color of this one. The groundskeeper's assistant. That's fun. So on the chest there, it says the groundkeeper's assistant. And then on the back, there's this really fun crest almost that features different emblems. I love the wand and the shovel crossing each other. Let's magically change into this shirt. Ta-da! Magic, just like magic. Now already I'm noticing the chest emblem is just a little too far to the left. We had the same issue with another one of the Wizarding Trunks t-shirts where the emblem was just too far over. It needs to be shifted over just a little bit. I do love the design of this emblem. And then here is the back of the t-shirt. All right, we've got a lot of boxes in here. There are tons of boxes. So let's take this large one out. We're gonna do the large one first. Now, I wasn't really gonna mention anything, um, but I'm finding this video a lot harder to film than I thought it would be. I hurt my right arm. I'm not gonna go into much detail. If you would like to hear what happened, you can see a little life update video that I posted here on the Potter Collector channel. Long story short, I ruptured my bicep and I'm having surgery, so I can't use it. So it's hard to use just my left hand, but I figured like, you know, it's, it's probably more weird to not say something than to say something. So we'll leave it at that for now. All right, what have we here? It's a statue of some sort. Whoa, that is awesome. I love this. This looks really good. So it's a statue of Ferenz, and on the bottom it says Mars is bright tonight. And Ferenz was a divination teacher starting at the fifth book. Ferenz is a centaur. And this is just a really cool statue of that centaur. He's holding a bow and an arrow and he's ready to fight the Dark Lord. I love the finish on this too. It's not super bronzy. It's more of a gold look with some really nice shadowing. All right, next up we have this long brown box. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I'm so excited. So the Wizarding Trunk has created memory vials. There are two up on top of my shelves, and now we have a third. It says Ogden, September 1925. So what would that memory be, 1925? It's referencing something in Half-Blood Prince, I'm pretty sure, but Look at this awesome, awesome memory vial. I love that each one that the Wizarding Trunk has put out is different. This is gonna look fantastic with the other two. Really beautiful light blue liquid inside with some glitter that makes it feel as though it's like a sparkly memory inside of here. And these are glass, by the way, blown glass. Like that's some high quality stuff right there. We have this box here. Potion, perhaps? No, it's... <gasps> It's a real working hourglass. Like the sand is moving. The sand is going through the hourglass. I wonder if this is an hour. Probably not, maybe close. I'm not sure, but wow, that is awesome. So this represents Professor Slughorn. Really cool detail and also glass. Green sand on the inside. Oh, look at that. We'll look at that in a second. But look at those snakes holding up the hourglass. And then on the top, we have a clock. 
and snakes surrounding the clock. So I wonder what the significance of the time is. 1235, 1235. I'm sure there is a significance to it. So if you know what it is, maybe it's on the cheat sheet. Let me know. Enchanted prosthetics. Dr. Grendel's enchanted prosthetics, and it's an eye, so this is representing Mad Eye Moody. <laughs> oh, you can stick it on your door! Just like Professor Umbridge did at the Ministry of Magic. Okay, so here's the eye, and this is representing Mad Eye Moody's eye, but on this side, there's some 3M tape, so you can stick it on your door and have a magical eye protecting your space. Very fun item. So the rim is painted in gold, bright blue eye in the center, and some solid resin right here. Really, really cool. That's a fun idea to like actually stick it on your door. Interesting. I love this box too. The Wizarding Trunk always does really beautiful boxes. If you're new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you are a returning Potter Collector community member, welcome back. This brown box feels like there's gonna be a potion on the inside, but what's the potion going to be and who is it going to represent? That is the question. Pufferfish eyes, humanely harvested. There are like actual eyes in here. They don't move, they're really tightly packed. How interesting. A really cool label design, love that, like that it says humanely packed. Black wax on the top, and then look at those eyes. That is so cool. Like, so, so cool. Are the eyes themselves actually painted or is that just the glitter effect? Love that. I love the bubbles that are kind of going through the different eyes. Makes it feel like they're packed in like ocean water or something. <laughs> like it's just really, really cool. So that is going to represent the potions master, Professor Snape. All right, we've got two pins in here. Let's open up both of those pins. We have another portrait pin and this features Professor McGonagall. I've said it in the past, I love that the Wizarding Trunk has started doing portrait pins. If you received the first Keep Collecting box, you would have found the portrait pin for Dumbledore, which was me in cosplay as Dumbledore, which is so fun to do. But the other portrait pins that they've released have been stunning, absolutely stunning. This is a high quality pin right here. A beautiful metal frame, thick metal too. Like their pins are not thin. Expect high quality pins from the Wizarding Trunk. And then there's a clear enamel over the portrait itself that kind of makes it look like glass. And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Professor McGonagall, but really, really nicely done. And then the next pin, a dueling champion pin. Interesting, okay, so this either represents Gilderoy Lockhart or Professor Flitwick, because we know that Professor Flitwick is like a master duelist, but the dueling club was started by Professor Lockhart. So it represents one of the two. But here is that detailed pin. I love the moon faces at the top, as well as those two crossed wands. Nice color choices too. It feels almost old fashioned with these color choices, as well as the hands that are holding the wands. Nice design. All right, we have a white box there. What is inside? There's a plate. Okay, I'm guessing there's going to be a portrait of a cat on the other side, which can only mean one thing. Professor Dolores Umbridge. She loves herself some cats and she loves herself some cat plates and she would love herself this cat plate right here. Look at that thing. But not only look at like the portrait of the cat on there and the decorative detail around the cat, but look at the shape of the plate. That is cool. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a plate with this kind of wavy rim or design around it. That cat is having the best time of its life, wrapped up under the covers, surrounded by roses. That's cute. So far, the Wizarding Trunk has done a great job representing a bunch of different professors, and now we know that it's professors that we love and hate. Speaking of professors that we love and hate, which professor do you love the most and which professor do you hate the most? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, there are two prints in here. Oh wait, one, two, three prints in here. We're gonna look at the prints. Usually we save the prints for last, but we have the next book cover in the Wizarding Trunks book cover. Wait, this looks like a really big book cover. Oh, there's more than just a book cover in there. Interesting. So we've got two things wrapped up in here, but we have the next book cover in the Wizarding Trunks new series, which is covering the UK house editions. We also have a key and in this box, it says unlocking magic. So let's take a look at these prints here. We have two magical creatures, A to Z, 
creature pages included here. So we have a merperson and a manticore on this one here. And then there is a yunkitai. I don't know if I'm saying that right and a unicorn on this page here. I will put these pages on the screen and you can pause and read them if you'd like to. But if you have been collecting the Wizarding Trunks Magical Creatures A to Z book pages, you have just added two more to your collection. Very fun, the artwork is always cool on these and there's actually stuff you can read on these. It's not just a bunch of scribbles, which is really awesome. We also have a postcard, be mine, to from. <laughs> is this representing Gilderoy? On the back, there's a scribbled note that says, for a small fee, a school cupid will sing to your Valentine when delivering. That's really fun. So this totally represents Gilderoy Lockhart, where in Chamber of Secrets, he sent a bunch of Valentines. And Ginny Weasley sent a cupid Valentine to Harry. His eyes are as green as a freshly pickled toad. His hair is as black as a blackboard. I hope he'll be mine, he's truly divine. The hero who conquered the Dark Lord. I'm pretty sure that's how the Valentine went that was sung to Harry. Really nice print and postcard that you could send out yourself if you wanted to. You could put a stamp there and a little message and send it out for Valentine's Day. All right, let's take a look at the key. So I'm loving the new boxes the Wizarding Trunk is putting out. It says Unlocking Magic, beautiful silver foiling, black box. Let's see what this professor key looks like. Oh, it's a library key, the restricted section. Not just library, but the restricted section key. Take a look at the inside of this new key box, beautiful key form, but this is nice. Okay, so. There's a little charm here that is a lantern, similar to the lantern that Harry uses to go into the restricted section. And then on the top of the key, we see a crest featuring bookshelves and a bunch of books. And then really cool designs. What does that say? Only authorized. I can't quite make out the words on the face itself, but there are words on the face. And then going down the shaft of the key, it says restricted section. There's a lock and then the key teeth themselves are books, the spines of books. That is a really, really cool key. Well done, great designs and little tiny details, which really make this extra, extra cool. All right, let's take a look at the book cover as well as the print that's inside. The print looks like really, really nice with tons of gold foiling on it. All right, so this is gonna be the book cover. Let's put that aside for a second and take a look at this. Mappa Stellarum, this is like an astronomy map. And holy cow, is this thing nice. Look at that gold foiling and that detail. There is so much detail on this map. And then the back of the map features some wear and tear and just age. That's a really, really beautiful print. And this was done by Wizardry Workshop. There are different constellations on here and the gold foiling is stunning. Last but not least is that book cover, which is going to fit the third Harry Potter book, Prisoner of Azkaban. And again, it's the, U ooh, the history of magic, but it's going to fit specifically the UK house editions. But if you don't have the UK house editions, I'm going to tell you what else it's going to fit. The History of Magic by Alpheus Levi. This is just a simple magical textbook looking cover. Like this is really, really nice. It gives the vibes of the A History of Magic book cover, but just really, really stunning. Like well balanced. Like the spine is absolutely gorgeous. The spine is fantastic. I love the front cover. This would display so incredibly well on your shelves. The structure, as I said, the balance with the different lines and what's foiled, what's not foiled. And then the back is beautiful as well, but really, really nice. So let me get my copy of Prisoner of Azkaban and let's see what it looks like on a book. So we're going to put it on the Hufflepuff edition of Prisoner of Azkaban. And the cool thing about these house editions as well as any Bloomsbury book that you purchase. Bloomsbury is the UK publisher of the Harry Potter books. Most of them are all the exact same size. So if you don't have the house editions, but you do have the original UK hardback editions or some of the later releases, like the 15th anniversary editions or the 10th anniversary editions, these book covers will fit most of those. So you don't have to go out and purchase a house edition if you don't have one, but you have one of the others. So we're gonna take the dust jacket 
jacket off of this one and lay the new cover flat. And before you make your final creases with these internal end flaps, wrap the book up, make sure the spine is centered, and then make your nice, tight first crease. And there you have it, The History of Magic by Elpheus Levi. Really, really nicely done. Really, really nicely designed. This is like the perfect book cover. All right, that was The Professors and The History of Magic. Who does that represent? I'm not quite sure. So let's see if it says on the cheat sheet. The Wizarding Trunk presents The Professors, the History of Magic book cover. This book by Eliphas Levi. I just realized I was saying the name wrong. Eliphas? Eliphas? I don't know. Eliphas Levi, not um, Elpheus Levi. This book by Eliphas Levi was written in 1913 and will fit the third hardback UK edition book. Number two, the centaur statue. This statue depicts one of the centaurs that have mastered the art of divination. Number three, kitten plate. Imagine sitting down to complete your lesson plan and enjoy a cup of tea while this sickeningly cute cat decided to settle in for a nap. Number four is the creature page. This creature page is torn right out of the book, Magical Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Hourglass. This hourglass appears to have the ability to alter time. It has been known to speed it up, slow it down, or reverse it in some cases. Pufferfish eyes. Eyes of the pufferfish are an essential ingredient in potion making when brewing up a solution for swelling. I could use that solution right now. Portrait pin. The brave and courageous professor is the next in the line of our portrait pins. Magical eye. While we hope that you may never have a need for a magical eye, this could also come in handy stuck to a door if you're looking to do a bit of spine like one of its last owners. Restricted section key. This key is used to enter the restricted section in the library. Star chart. This star chart will come in handy atop the tallest tower while mapping the sky in astrology. Valentine postcard. Fill out this postcard and give it back to your professor if you would like one of his Valentine Cupids to deliver and sing it to your Valentine. There was a lot in this box, holy moly cannoli. Groundskeeper assistant shirt. Oh look, you were selected by the groundskeeper to be his assistant. We hope you don't have any reservations about deep black lakes or a forest that most are forbidden to enter. Vial of memories. These hand-blown vials were created exclusively for us and contain a rather peculiar look into the past, September of 1925 to be exact. So I am curious now, but I can't remember what happened September 1925. I should though, because that was Voldemort time. Oh, Bob Ogden. Bob Ogden visits the Gaunt House. Ogden is investigating an attack on a muggle by Morphin Gaunt, who is Voldemort's uncle, late the previous evening, in the yard outside, Ogden's attacked by Morphin. Then he encounters the irate Marvolo Gaunt, who, along with his son Morphin, refused to admit Morphin had done anything wrong. Okay, so that was the memory that we saw. A very important memory in the story of Voldemort's growing up in childhood and history. So then 14, the dueling champion pin. Did you know that one of your professors was the dueling champion? If you're looking for some tips and tricks for dueling, we suggest he be the one you ask for help. All right, so the dueling pin champion does represent Professor Flitwick. And then it looks like we've got some adverts on the back. The Wizarding Trunk, buy monthly magic delivered to your doorstep. Pure Blood Apothecary. Only the purest of potions. Further your magical education at Bogmeyer University of Advanced Magic. Wittershins Joke Shop. Ghost for Hire, my favorite. Poltergeist seeking work would be great at eavesdropping. No unfinished business, nonviolent, and family friendly. <laughs> and then a magical flea market. Dog fleas, cat fleas, performing fleas, circus purposes. That's really funny. A flea market that actually sells fleas. And the next bi-monthly theme is going to be Herbology. Well, I would definitely say this is a successful wizarding trunk box. Really well curated with a bunch of different items. And I feel like this is the most like statue-like things and displayable. I mean, a lot of the Wizarding Trunk things are displayable, but there's something about the items here. I feel like this might be one of the most display or like replica heavy boxes we've received from them. Maybe that's wrong, but whether I'm wrong or right, I'm happy about it. So let's look at some favorites and least favorites. I love this vial. 
This is probably my favorite item. Pufferfish Eyes Potion is stunning. So well done and creepy too, like all those pufferfish eyes looking at you. I loved the key. Fantastic, fantastic key. I don't know that I have a least favorite item, maybe the cat plate, if anything, but even the cat plate is unique and different with that really cool plate design. And then that absolutely adorable cat in the center. So I would say this is a very successful box from The Wizarding Trunk. Let me know what you thought about the box, the different items. What were your favorites or least favorite items? Let me know, as well as the rest of the Potter Collector community know in a comment down below. If you would like to subscribe to The Wizarding Trunk, check the description down below for a link, as well as a coupon code to save you some money. And another reminder that the Keep Collecting Box 2, Staying at School for the Holidays, is available now in a very limited quantity. Again, check the description down below. I will post a link. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, at Potter Collector, and now on Discord, the official Potter Collector Discord server is now open for business. It's free to join. It's a great way to connect with other Potter Collector community members as well as myself. So check the description down below for that. And if you would like to become a member of the Potter Collector channel, check the description down below for a link or click that join button to see what perks you may be able to unlock by becoming a Potter Collector channel member. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?